everyone and welcome to the next week in art. We are starting on major project number three. We're going to be focusing on a very famous artist. You may have heard of him, Pablo Picasso. If you have already watched the little video that's before these videos and you have some background on one of the most famous artists in the world. So we're going to really focus. I know you heard about cubism and the blue period and all those different parts of Picasso's art career. He was also very well known for his crazy faces. Some, some of his faces were very abstract and some were cubistic and basically they were something that the world had never seen before and that was one of the reasons he became so famous. Um, Major Project 3 is going to focus on the faces, yes. Also, we're going to focus on color. Remember your color wheel that you finished last week, very basic color spectrum wheel. We're going to kind of use that with this project. Um, if you are a sixth grader, this is going to be your final major project because we only have about a week and a half left until the grading period ends. So slow down, take your time, do your best work. This is big project grade. Okay, the easiest way to start is with Google. Um, on your Chromebooks, if you type in Picasso faces, go to images, you will see lots of different, really interesting examples. Um, some of these are by Picasso himself. Some of these are by other people, students, other artists, you know, so you can really browse and see a lot of cool stuff. So for your assignment, what you're going to be doing is a composition using the Picasso style faces. You can incorporate cubism, but basically, to keep it simple, these are just faces that are made out of shapes, okay? So the requirement for this is at least five faces. Um, I would like to see, you know, big, medium, small, kind of scatter them all over your paper, make it interesting. Remember, it's abstract, so none of this needs to look realistic. You can have fun with this and be creative. Okay, so I went ahead and sketched out some faces and I'm gonna demonstrate the last step on this. And then you wanna outline everything that you've done either with a Sharpie, a black marker, a black crayon, anything dark will be good, okay? Okay. So basically, this last step, hopefully you can kind of see what I'm doing. This phone holder is not the best in the world. I have to get a better one. Um, the last step on this, you're going to break up the background, okay? So my faces are pretty much filling up the whole thing, yes, but I'm going to take that ruler and I'm going to start just breaking up the background with my ruler. Stripes. You can start with stripes, but then you kind of want to turn it into shapes. And that creates a fragmented background. It kind of looks like broken glass after a while. So just fill in the background. Lots of lines all over the place. any space that you have left in your background. Whoops. You just fill it in with line work. So this project includes a lot of elements. Remember the elements of art? You've got line, you've got shape, you've got texture, you've got a little bit of form going on. You're definitely going to have color in just a minute. So once you've done that, then you want to go back and, of course, outline those lines. 
And then this next part, I am going to put it on time lapse so it goes really fast. You are going to be coloring just your facial images only using the warm colors. So what are the warm colors in art? Well, look at the color wheel. Here we go. Red, orange, yellow. The side of the color wheel. Now you can do variations of that. You can do red, orange, orangey, yellow, yellowy, orange. You know, you kind of mix them up. And then colors like, you know, pink or magenta. Well, that would kind of go in the warm colors, okay? Then the background, this part, will be your cool colors. Greens, blues, purples, and all the variations. There's lots of, there's like lime green, there's dark green, there's navy blue, there's sky blue, there's lavender, there's purple. You know, there's a lot of color you can put in this, okay? So now what I'm going to do, I'm going to put it on time lapse. I'm going to outline everything that's left. I'm going to fill it in with color, okay? For this project, yes, you can use markers, colored pencils. If you have paint, you're welcome to paint. Watercolors, any kind of paint. So anything that you have at home is perfectly fine, okay? So we're going to do the time lapse and then I'll be back for the end.